Hello out there, I'm Marcel, and we're back with The Pulse. Uh, today I'm going to discuss some NMN private changes that have occurred with me over time. I've discussed some of these in small detail. I'm going to go a little bit more specific, a little uh, elaborate a bit more on them today. The reason is these things come up in other people's comments, but rarely in other people's videos do I see anything about this. Uh, all of these topics, they're just maybe one of them gets a lot of attention and that's about it. And when in regards to NMN or just in general. So I think people are reluctant to share their stories. So somewhat reluctantly, I'm going to share uh, some personal information with you. I warn you, this is a little more graphic than usual, although I won't get you know, too rough for anyone. My mother watches this channel. I won't get too graphic for anyone out there, but I am going to talk about some private things and some uh, some changes that have been very significant. They've happened over time. You know, a lot of these long-term effects, these things take a while. Uh, I've been taking NMN uh, for two and a half years. I've had an NMN lifestyle for the most part for the past two and a half years. I'm going to talk more about that going forward in detail as well. But this NMN lifestyle is really what we're talking about when I talk about NMN here because I made other changes to boost my NAD levels. You can decide how much is from what or from your own experiences. A lot of you are taking NMN and have been taking it for a while now. So maybe you've got some things to talk about here that you'll open up about. Um, it's a little tougher on a video, but maybe in a comment, some of you guys can share what you're going through. One uh, word of caution to the Niacin copy and paste comments. Um, I haven't removed a comment in over a year, but these are kind of pointless and suspect to come on an NMN-centric channel and just copy and paste these not pro niacin without any anecdotes, without any personal you know, messages or experiences. And it, these aren't even videos about niacin. I, I clearly have talked to scientists about niacin, and I know a little bit about niacin. My son takes it. He gets that red flush. It's in a vitamin mixture that he takes, and it goes away pretty quickly. And so we just sort of weigh the pros and the cons because we want to keep him healthy. So there's a lot of good vitamins in that vitamin mix. But you very much do get a flush when you take niacin. And there are some forms of niacin that say that, that have cured that flush, but I've heard some new uh, evidence to the contrary. But there's no evidence that I've seen of that it boosts NAD levels the way NMN or even NR. Quick note about NR. I don't talk a lot about NR here. I can tell you that the NR sales from the companies that I'm in contact with have almost completely gone away. Like it's very rare. People would dabble with it. They would give it a shot and they'd go right back to NMN. So take that for what it's worth. Now, the typical things I've usually talked about with NMN are energy, weight loss, uh, focus, and my productivity improving among other things. But we're gonna get into some more, some deeper stuff and some more specific private things right now. The first thing, uh, private change that I've had from my NMN lifestyle and, and taking NMN every day is bloody gums have cleared up, uh, gone. Like I don't even know if I could, if I floss really hard, if I could even almost make them bleed, right? Uh, everything has strengthened within the gums. You know, how much of that has been accentuated by the fact that I do take it orally, I take it under the tongue, so it gets into the bloodstream and into the through the mucous membrane more quickly there, plus the digestive tract. Maybe that impact has been enhanced by taking NMN uh, orally. I can just tell you, in addition to not getting the sinus infections I used to get, other benefits, you know, less puffy eyes, uh, one thing, well, less puffiness in the face in general, a lot of these are inflammation-related symptoms that people suffer. So as we age, they get worse. So my bloody gums are completely gone. I, I brush the same routine, you know, brush, floss, go through the same actions that I did with uh, that routine, and uh, I don't get the bloody gums anymore at all. It was fairly severe. Talked to a doctor about it, and as with all of these symptoms, they told me, well, you're aging, this happens, this gets worse as you age. I'll tell you specifically why I was concerned enough to talk to a doctor about this. Um, I had a friend in North Carolina who's around, who at the time was around my age now, I'll be 60 at the end of this year, and he died from an infected tooth that burst. And he didn't get it treated in time, and he had an infection that got into his brain and he died a few days later. And this guy was got to be a really good friend. When I was living out there, it was just devastating. He had a relatively young wife, and uh, it was just really sad. So 
you know, take care of your gum health, take care of your teeth as you age. It can get literally uh, lethal. Hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids have cleared up. Uh, this is a, a bloodiness or after bowel movement. Uh, again, quite personal. Uh, I was getting this daily. I had this issue. You know, I, again, I went to a doctor. This is embarrassing to talk about here. It's embarrassing to talk about with my German doctor. But I did, you know, have uh, have it looked at. And he said, oh, you're aging. It's normal. <laughs> I'm like, I'm falling apart, right? This is five years ago, and now it's gone. It's totally gone. Certainly, I'm sure that my improvements in diet, although my diet was never terrible. I talk about diet a lot. Um, maybe, you know, the weight loss, maybe the diet. But again, this NMN lifestyle, which is centered around boosting NED levels, which I do very much take part in. But it happened right after the period after I started taking NMN. These things all cleared up. So really happy that that one's cleared up as well. I've, I've mentioned this one before. I'll try to go to, into a bit more detail. But uh, a buildup of uric acid around the toe causes gout. And I had that in a big toe. I have a relative, a close relative, that has the same thing. And I've told her about this. I said, hey, you know, NMN has pretty much resolved that. Um, I w it, it fluctuates. There's days I don't notice it at all. There's days where it's maybe 10% of what it used to be. But now I'll be doing like planking and my toe will stretch out and just pop. I couldn't even imagine it popping before when I had serious gout pain in the toe. Um, I was having problems walking properly. I certainly was having trouble with tennis. That was one of the many things that was limiting my physical activity with my sons. Gout is, is pretty much gone at 90%. I'll take it. Any one of those first three things I would do, I would take NMN and the other supplements I take and live my NMN lifestyle just to cure these individual things, not to mention all the many other benefits that I get all the time. So, you know, it sounds awful, right? Gout, what a terrible word. Uh, but boy, it is nice that it's gone and it does happen to people as we age. Number four, now we're going to get into the more personal, really personal stuff that uh, I'm embarrassed to to bring up, but I just feel like it's uh, important. Um, hair, overall. Okay, that's not too embarrassing. It's pretty obvious we all have hair, right? Uh, I have noticed, you know, we'll start with the easy stuff. I have noticed a darkening and a bit of a thickening. My my barber says, you know, up here in this area, it's uh, it's thicker. Of course, you know, I, I, I still have this thin. You could see, you know, the gaps. I, I don't have the best hair in the world, but it's definitely darker, and it has thickened up uh, a bit on the top. So uh, hair is improved, but not just that. My wife told me last year, actually, she I have my shirt off. I'm getting ready in the morning, brush my teeth. She says, you don't have hair on your back anymore. <laughs> I used to have to shave that. She was shaving my back 20 years ago. You know, we're not talking about, you know, and it just stopped. I, I, you know, I don't know. You know, maybe it's this whole reverse age reversal thing. But now, you know, and if that's not enough, uh, um, I, in my, you know, yes, private areas, it's also darker less gray, almost none, and has filled out. So in my private areas, the hair has changed. Uh, and I, you know, as a guy who's involved in sports, definitely been in the locker room, definitely been in the locker room and tennis locker rooms with older gentlemen, uh, even going in and out of the shower, not that, you know, you're know, you not staring, right? But you certainly notice these private things. And uh, most people my age... Look, uh, they're past their prime, <laughs> okay? They're past their prime uh, in many ways, and that is uh, no exception. And I'm, you know, yeah, feeling pretty pretty nice about that. Um, so, yes, hair has improved overall and even in the most private areas. We'll leave it there. I'm wondering, really, as I'm saying all this, I'm wondering about other people out there and what you're experiencing as well. Um all right, so uh, the fifth one is uh, skin improvement. Again, you know, skin, we all have it. You see it. Uh, people have commented on uh, skin. You know, have I turned back the clock completely on my skin? No, but it's nice that, you know, that it's gotten a, a bit improved, that it's definitely softer, that it, you know, definitely less of the rough skin. Um, I would get even uh, bleed, you know, talk about bleeding gums. I would, my face would sometimes bleed after I'd shaved just because it was so dried out. 
So that the fact that that's improved uh, has been a big win. Now, it's also improved in all parts of my body, and yes, including the most personal of areas. As a matter of fact, that's probably the most shocking thing uh, to, you know, in my, my private areas, uh, the skin has improved uh, dramatically. Matter of fact, that is something that 20 years ago, I also had to see a doctor about. And he said, you know, uh, you have to, uh, you know, basically reduce your, uh, your amount of sex, basically, right? He said, it's an overuse uh, syndrome. Well, I, you know, so I'm not overusing <laughs> He said, "No, it's just a it's just a term we use to uh, to describe it. So uh, very nice that there are no issues there anymore. The skin is softer and also seems to have more elasticity. It's tougher. This is overall, but yes, even in uh, the most private areas. So you know, people people wonder why I'm so you know excited about NMN. Maybe you'll understand a little bit better having watched this video and understanding that there are other things that have changed dramatically. Things that any one on their own, I would have I'd be taking NMN if if I could solve them with NMN. So uh, it's it's you know I hope this helps some of you. I hope you'll leave comments about your own. Uh, improvements or changes in these areas? Have you experienced any personal changes from NMN that maybe you've been reluctant or kind of non-believe? You know, I don't almost don't believe some of these things, right? But it's happened so slowly over time. And at some point, you know, you look at yourself and you go, yeah, yeah. I, you know, it's a, it's certainly a young version of 60, right? It's not, you know, do I look 35? Do I look 40? Probably not. People sometimes say that, or usually 45 is a number I get a, get a lot. But when you, you know, when five years ago I was so much worse off, you know, it's nice to turn 60 and look forward to it, actually feel good about it. Say, hey, how good can I do? How active can I be? How good can I look and feel at 60? Like, that's the ultimate challenge now. So it's aging more gracefully. It's not a managed decline. And some of these very personal issues, right, ailments, symptoms related to aging that can be turned back uh, pretty important stuff, pretty impressive stuff. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, those of you that hung in there with this uh, kind of inside private uh, window into my, or look into my uh, life. Uh, hope, hope that was helpful to somebody out there. Uh, see you guys soon.